Chapter 6 The Secret Passage Are you thinking what I'm thinking? said Debbie. Mick knows something about pony rustling, said Kieran. And Barker and Deal are part of it too. No, they're not, said Norman. They're RSPCA men. They told me. I know what's what. Have another look at the bit of paper, said Kieran. That word says export, and this one must be livestock. What's livestock? asked Debbie. Animals, Badger Girl, said Kieran. It means they don't look after animals. They buy them and sell them, or steal them. I don't believe it, said Norman. Let's find out, said Debbie. We'll follow Mick and see where he's going. Kieran was the first to see Mick. Look, there he is, going up Cross Tor. Cross Tor was a very steep hill with a tiny church on the top. They watched Mick climbing till he was nearly at the church. Then he was gone. He's disappeared, said Norman. He's not a magic man, said Debbie. He'll be back. After a few minutes, they saw Mick again. He was coming out of the church. Then he ran down the steep hill on the other side. After him, said Debbie. No, said Kieran. Let's see how he got in. They climbed the hill, and just where Mick had disappeared, there was an opening behind a bush. Kieran pulled the branches back, and there was a door, a secret passage. Debbie switched her torch on, and the three children crept in. It smelled damp and cold and creepy as they climbed the steep steps. Then they were in the church. It was the smallest church they'd ever seen, like a tiny toy church. They looked all round and then they found a piece of paper. On the paper was a map with two marks on it. One was a cross, and the other was a star. And on top it said, OK, see you there, 8 a.m., Mick. Let's take it, said Debbie. No, let's copy it and see who comes for it, said Norman. Norman had just finished when Debbie said, Quick, someone's coming. They tiptoed into the secret passage and shut the door just as two men came into the church. Barker and Deal. Here's the note, said Barker. I don't get it, said Deal. It's simple, Mr. Deal, said Barker. That's where he's bringing the ponies, and here's where we bring the big van. Then Debbie forgot to be quiet and popped her bubble gum. What's that? said Deal. Quick, said Kieran. Norman Debbie and Kieran raced down the steps, pushed through the bushes, and then they were out, running down the hill as fast as they could go. Only kids, said Barker at the church door. Only kids, said Deal. Kids can be a real pain. Don't you worry, Deal. 
Let Barker look after things. Tomorrow, those ponies will be over the sea in France.